If you've been following news about the James Webb Space Telescope, you've likely heard about a star called TRAPPIST-1. But why is it creating such a buzz? TRAPPIST-1 is an M-type star. This means it's smaller, redder, and much cooler than our sun. And scientists have discovered seven rocky Earth-like planets orbiting it. Four of these planets are in the star's habitable zone. This means they orbit at just the right distance and thus have the right temperature for liquid water to exist on the surface. That's four planets that might have one of the most essential building blocks for life. The first planet in the zone is TRAPPIST-1d. It's on the very inner edge, so it could have liquid water on its surface, or it may have suffered a runaway greenhouse effect like Venus. Next, there's TRAPPIST-1e. Out of all the planets orbiting this star, TRAPPIST-1e is the most likely of being habitable. Scientists have concluded it likely has a compact atmosphere like the rocky inner planets of our solar system. The final two planets in TRAPPIST-1's habitable zone are TRAPPIST-1f and TRAPPIST-1g. These planets likely have thick steam atmospheres, but only further study will confirm. The James Webb Space Telescope will spend about a third of its observation time studying exoplanets. A significant portion of this time will be devoted to the TRAPPIST-1 system. Scientists are hoping to glean more information about the exoplanet's atmospheres, specifically their compositions, as this will further solidify whether any of these planets might harbor life.